Hello, my dear students, myself Pinita Sukharia, lecturer in civil engineering department at Balakudi Polytechnic Nausari. In previous video lecture, we have already covered introduction on perspective of view. Now in today's video lecture, I am going to give you a brief on few terminologies or few definitions related to perspective of view. First definition is of ground plane GP. Ground plane is first of all a horizontal plane which indicates the ground surface itself and on that ground plane observer and object are in rest condition. In figure I have also shown one horizontal plane named GP ground plane. Ground plane GP itself represents the ground surface. On one side of GP, one object is there and in front of object, one observer is there. Both object and observer are in rest condition on ground plane GP. So, ground plane definition is almost completed. It is the horizontal plane representing ground surface and on ground plane GP object and observer are in rest condition. Second definition is of picture plane PP. Picture plane is a vertical plane perpendicular to ground plane GP. In figure also I have indicated one vertical plane which is a truly vertical perpendicular to the ground plane GP named PP that is picture plane. In this case here picture plane is placed in between object and observer. After applying the projections of object the perspective view of the same is obtained on picture plane itself. So here the definition of a picture plane is completed that picture plane is a truly vertical plane perpendicular to ground plane. After applying the projections of object the perspective view of the object is obtained on picture plane itself and in this case the picture plane is placed in between object and observer. Third definition is of station point SP. It is the point from where the observer looks towards the object. If you are talking about a plan that is top of view, the point on ground plane where observer is standing, then this point is termed as a station point. If you are talking about elevation, then eye of the observer is considered as a station point. Because the definition of a station point states that point from where the observer look towards the object. So observer's eye is considered as a station point SP. Fourth definition is of ground line GL. In figure I have indicated one line named ground line which intersect picture plane and ground plane with each other. So definition of a ground line is that that line which intersect vertical picture plane and horizontal ground plane with each other then that line is known as ground line. Next definition is of horizon. From the eye of the observer one line is drawn which is parallel to the ground line. That imaginary line is known as horizon. The line which is drawn from the eye of the observer, I have indicated it as a dotted line that is horizon. Next is eye level. It is the level of the eye of the observer. The vertical distance between ground plane and eye of the observer is considered as eye level. On an average, the observer's eye level is taken as 1.5 meter. Last definition is vanishing point VP. For that let's take one example. Suppose if you are standing between two rail over here and from where you are standing if you are looking forward then you can feel that both of rail will get meet 
or will get converged at uh, one point or somewhat point at few distance then this point is termed as vanishing point so in perspective of view also the parallel lines of the object obviously which are perpendicular to the picture plane the parallel lines of the object will converge at somewhat point that point is known as vanishing point thank you